A federal program for free school lunches ended earlier this year, which means you'll have to start paying for your kids' lunches again as they head back to the classroom. Or packing them yourself, which we know can be frustrating when they don't like what you pick, or you just don't have ideas. I had a dietitian in the area come over to help me out, and we put those ideas right to the test. We want to get ready for back to school. I'm kind of dreading making lunches every day, and I'm going to have the kids... Put your suggestions to the test. No awesome. pressure. <laughs> I like to recommend a guideline of what I call PCP, protein, carbohydrate, and produce. Okay. And then something extra fun. So something fun that a lot of kids are kind of into these days and finding are um, like a kid's charcuterie board. Today we made pizza ones. I don't know if you guys want to try those out. I'll get one ready for you each. So it's a cracker, which is a whole grain cracker. It's a Triscuit. And then a slice of mozzarella and a turkey pepperoni. So I'll let you try that. There we go. And that, so then you can kind of see with this I just packed, we had um, the produce, we've got some berries and some carrots and some dip for the carrots okay. or anything else that they want to dip it in. The carbohydrate, we've got those Triscuits, that's a whole grain, great for fiber and brain health. And then some protein, you're going to get a mix of protein from the pepperoni today and the cheese in that one. And then sometimes with produce, kids, you know, some don't like a lot of produce. It's pretty common. So one thing you can do um, with zucchini or cucumber, I'll give that to you, is you can put a fun seasoning on it. So Grady, I want is... you to try that too. Because he <laughs> is my, what produce can I get you to eat, kid? Uh -huh. Right? <laughs> and so zucchini, cucumber, and even like different, any kind of veggie, if you add a seasoning ahead of time, especially when it has a little salt, it draws out the water from the vegetable and it adds a seasoning and flavor as well. I'm noticing something. What are we finding? He went back for bite number two. All right. So this is a good sign. <laughs> We'll let them also try something fun. This is a cinnamon butternut squash chip. So I don't think all chips need to be veggie oriented, but sometimes we are like, ah, as parents, we want to give them another veggie in there. And doing it in a chip form like the veggie straws or something with a little cinnamon on it, it's another great way to go. Anything else we can keep in mind as we look for ideas for uh, back yeah. to school so that the kids aren't saying, mom, that's boring, or I don't like that. Mm -hmm. have, them, um, have them, honestly, if they're on the internet with you, maybe do a little bit of Googling with you, or even just think of breakfast at lunchtime. So you can do things like um, a yogurt parfait, all in one bowl. Again, keep dishes simple for mom and dad. <laughs> keep it all in one. Maybe it's a parfait, maybe it's different types of charcuterie, some packaged foods to keep it easy too. What do you guys think, thumbs up? All right. <laughs> that was such a victory, that great. Yeah. This is so tough. <laughs> Look, if <laughs> both food. of your kids give the thumbs up, then That's I'm going to have to try it. Yeah. Especially that. Actually, um, is really good. That was um, everything it? but the bagel seasoning that she put on there. I wanted to try the butternut squash oh, with those like, are good cinnamon too. on it, like the chip that mm -hmm. Kathleen and Grady were eating. Those were all good. So i got to add that to my, my pile of stuff. In our next half hour, we're going to help you out with your and your kids' breakfast, something you can do the night before. Perfect. So. Looking forward to that. Thank you, Weeks. Or <laughs> Teresa, sorry. <laughs> That's, that's what I call her. <laughs> okay. Thanks, D-Long. <laughs> there you go. You're